welcome friends this video will help the beginners to learn about the classes in java classes these are the basic concepts of object oriented programming which revolve around the real world entities so as you know it is a blueprint or template for creating objects it is a collection of data members and member functions so you call this as the declaration of the variables the variables used in the uh, classes along with the methods present in the classes this collection will create a class so here uh, i have presented an example for you in this example the student is the class name which will act as an identifier and in the next you could see name and grade which are the data members which are the attributes and next is the get name of and the print grade which are the uh, member functions which can perform the operations so as we seen in the definition the previous it is very clear that the class is the collection of all the data members and the member functions we could see how we are able to declare the classes declaring the classes uh, while declaring the classes every class in java can be composed of fields methods and constructors especially the constructor this is a special method which is present in the class there the constructor name and the class name should be of the same so the constructor is called when an object of the class is created and whenever that object is be uh, used to call a class automatically the initialization of the values will be occurring there so this is the major part of the constructor which we use in java so this is the general syntax for declaring the class the, so it contains the access specifier modifier followed by the keyword class then the name of the class and inside the curly brace you could find the body of the class which contains all the fields methods and constructors so let us see an example so this is an example for declaration of the class where you could see public class employee so this public act as the modifier the class is the keyword followed by the class name that is the employee so inside the curly brace you could see this my id and my name these are the uh, data members and get name of it is the uh, member function and this is the uh, this employee it is the uh, constructor so uh, you could see that uh, we are declaring two variables my id and my name and then uh, we are having a member function get name of okay. and uh, you could see here uh, when we are discussing the previous slide we have seen that the constructor and the class should have the same name so here you could see the class name is employee the same we have used as the constructor also so uh, when an object is called the parameter passed through the object will be coming here that is the name of the person which here we are alerting to the variable so this is an uh, example for declaration of the class so next is for uh, while declaring the class there are some components uh, that need to be present so the, uh, the components which are present while uh, declaring the class we could see one by one the first is the modifier 
then the class name then uh, the extends this is a keyword implements this is also a keyword and the body of the class so we see one by one starting from the modifiers so what is a modifier is as we have already seen the modifier uh, the example for the modifier is given there that is the public private or the protected whatever we use that uh, will be present there that is the modifier so this is the essential part that need to be available uh, while declaring the class in java and the second uh, important thing that need to be present there is the class name so this is this denote the name of the class and normally in a convention way we normally use a uh, capital letter uh, as the first letter of a class so or uh, normally uh, the initial letter is capitalized in the class name and third element or the component with, which need to be present in while declaring a class is extends so this is not a mandatory one when there is a need for this you could use it what uh, how to use this is present here that is class name of the subclass extends superclass hope you uh, in the previous uh, video i have explained the concept uh, that is inheritance so there we have seen that the superclass uh, is present there and the subclass is present there the subclass will uh, derive the properties of a superclass so when you are going to use such type of class or when you are going to uh, derive the properties of the superclass from the subclass you need to use this uh, keyword that is extends so uh, this is the syntax class space name of the subclass extends the name of the superclass and the next one present there is implements okay. so when you are uh, in need of implementing some interface you could use this implements keyword there how to use that is the class followed by the class name then followed by the implements then the name of the interface from which you are going to implement the concepts so this is how you are going to use the uh, implements and the last uh, element or the component that is present while declaring the class is the body so the body of the class should be kept uh, surrounded by the braces so it starts with the curly brace and ends with the curly brace so whatever thing that is present inside these curly braces forms the body of the class so these are some of the components uh, which we include while uh, declaring the classes hope this video helps in uh, learning about the classes in java thank you see you soon in the next video Thank you.